Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to behave yourself. Your school days. Love them. <laughs> or loathe them. Oh, I hate school! You never forget them. I am not going home. I want my education. You know what? One minute to get in a lesson. Let's go. For the students at this school in Salford, life is never straightforward. He's on Tinder. What's, what's Tinder? Sorry. The dating website. So you see pictures. Oh. It's a school with a history. When I arrived, it was known as the worst in the UK, and that's one of those educational badges that people don't want. Get in and make sure you can see me and hear me. And it still has its fair share of challenges. It's your dad, look. Hello? Matthew's looking at a minimum of eight years in prison. For God's sake! It's no good you being upset because that upsets the baby. The head teacher, Mr Povey. Lesson time, learning time. And his team. <laughs> including his two brothers. Ross was here first, I came second, Ben came third. Are turning its fortunes around. Yeah. I'm not letting you give up on your GCSEs. Why? Um, because, because I care too much. I don't know the words. Find the perimeter of the triangle for me. Yes, yeah, 48, sir. Boom. In a tough year for education. I'm really worried about these results. With this budget, we're paying the price for how tight it all is. This is as bad as we've ever what's, seen. What's that I've ever seen? We film to find out what life is really like. You then say, Allah Akbar. In one of our secondary schools. Google will not get you a GCSE. What's the capital city of Kenya? Nah. Nanya. <laughs> wow. I lost my grippers and went after just practice. Hey, what are you gripping? <laughs> <laughs> these are my magic grippers, miss. Once, once you've had these, miss, you never turn back. <laughs> it's Monday morning. <laughs> and Head of Behaviour, Mr Chambers, is on playground duty. I'm real positive, me, you know. I'm an eternal optimist. I like things to start off nice and, and relaxed and calm and... And then it's a good day and the clouds clear and everyone's happy. This is Benini, Mr Chambers. Good right. evening, miss. You need me. Can you just me a please? I will do, miss. I'm on my way. A suspicious smell has been noticed coming from the boys' toilets. You can smell it as soon as you walk down. About five minutes ago, really strong smell of when you put out the boys' toilets there. It stinks of weed in here. What? Who's been in that you know of? Just little kids. I don't know what the name of it. Mr Povey to Miss Benigno, you're receiving. The school's very different than it was when I arrived 12 years ago, but without doubt we still have our challenges. Mr Povey to Miss York, we're not out of the woods yet. I'm tough on discipline and setting expectations where we want them to be. So whatever's been put about has been hidden. Miss, Ben's going to go on the camera now, so I think you're going to go to the camera room with him. We've got to find out if there's any substances in school or if there's anything that shouldn't be there because it's illegal. You know, we've got children to protect and, and you know, we need to make sure that ultimately that the students are all right. He's, he's going to his pocket for something. Ah. But if you just watch here... Look, comes down here. And look, follow him round. They all go underneath the stairs there. Oh, we're going to need to get them all. Get them in my room. The CCTV has revealed three year eight and two year 11 students. Mr. Chambers? Yes. Have you spoken to him? No, take him in there and search him, miss. Come in the office. What can you tell us about drugs, weed in school this morning? The suspects are questioned. Have you been smoking weed in school? Up there? One of them has. And searched. One of you got weed on you now. It's any pockets out. You hungry? Are the munchies? What's cannabis? Cannabis, it's um, weird and you smoke it. You act like you're drunk, but you're not really drunk. Don't your skin change colour? Or is that due to alcohol? <laughs> I don't know if I've heard of that one. So you've no idea of its whereabouts, you've no idea who might have it. Positive, I don't know. Are you sure? Because I'm going round in circles. Positiveness. There was a talk about weed in the toilet. I don't even know if you smoke weed or anything. I think we've got 880 students in school. 
Caden had it. Caden had it. So where's the rest of it? Caden's still got it. So to try and pin it down and catch someone, or to try and find out who's done something on the estate on the way into school, it's 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 near on impossible to do. It's just elimination, isn't it, to try and find out where the crux of it is. Caden was with. Oh, I've got his name. Caden and some other lad walked past me, and then about two minutes later, I could smell weed. Make sure. Caden. The students questioned have named someone else well known to Mr. Chambers. Does anybody know the whereabouts of Caden? When someone mentions Caden to me, my heart sinks. I'm like, no, no. He just lets himself down sometimes, and I'm like, no. I'm not going to get in trouble first, I'm honest. Yeah, I'm not going to get in trouble. I mean, I know, I know someone's going to find something to pick at me. Why? I don't even know, because they are, everyone knows I'm on my last chance in school. Everyone. Mm, and if I get, if something gets dropped on me in school, believe it, I'm, I'm gone. I'll get kicked out. I've been into primary schools because I'm, I'm always behaving. And if they don't think my behaviour is right, they'll send me to a different school again. I want to keep me place here, though. I'm going to get the blame for something I've not done. How are you going to get the blame for it? Because that's what people do, mate. It's like I used to. What? I used to blame people? it on other people. Did Caden bring it in? I went over to him and he's gone cold. But you don't know for definite? I don't know for definite. Fine. Sure, I got on him. I yeah, think... it a bit, mate. No, do you know when you get that, um... Is it skunk? When it's an actual circle of it. If he's put it anywhere, I reckon he's put it in his sock. Actually, no, that's where he said he's going to put it. Did I? In his sock. Just remember. Hi, miss. He reckons Sean said he was going to put it in his sock. In his sock? All right, thanks, miss. Bye. Need to check the socks. Whose socks? All of them? Come on, Sean. There's one bit we forgot to check before, so can you take your shoes and socks off for us, please? Shoes and socks? Your shoes and socks. Socks are Oh, don't worry about that. Oh. I was all pressed around a pair of tights this morning. Yeah, thank you. And you've got nothing more you can tell us about this because it really is doing our heads in now, trying to find out what's happened. Right, thank you. You didn't stash it anywhere, did I? No. Sure. No, but you were going to stash it in the toilet In the toilet roof. Therein is his talent. He can think of a story, boom. The dinner lay there, you even smelt it. And I, she smelled me, she couldn't smell it on. She couldn't smell it on me. He catches everyone out. He's like, you know the scene from Star Wars, these are not the droids you're looking for, move along. He can convince you. Right, put your bag up on there with Miss. We need to search your stuff. Have you been smoking cannabis in this school? No. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. My mum told me not that it can kill you. Can you give me one cancer? Nothing. Take your jacket and go down. We've got rid of it somehow, but... We didn't give it to somebody in school. So what do we do from here? Well, there's no we can do. We, unless we catch them, uh, this is the thing. We can't blame anyone. Who have you checked? I spoke to Sean. Nothing. I spoke to Caden. Nothing. We're monitoring what he does. He knows that. He's going to have to be careful. So are they OK to go back yeah. to the lessons then? Yeah. Is that OK? That smell issue is the best way I can describe it. Where, where do we get up to in the end with it? We asked all the questions we could, but, you know, we've pushed as far as we can and yeah. there was nothing. OK. I suppose, I suppose it's the warning, then, that goes with that. Yeah, I mean, I think they need to understand the fact that there's even been that smell and they've been in that area, puts them in, on very, very dodgy ground. I was surprised today because we don't have those issues here. Yeah, but, no. but now it's happened, it's about saying, look, these are the standards we set at the school, work with it. And if you don't work with it, there's going to be consequences. All schools up and down the country will be dealing with issues with drugs. And I think we have to take a hard line on it. You know, do you know what you might be able to use? You know, we've got the police in a couple of times. We could say to them, look, you see the police coming in and out. And you could maybe mention sniffer dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Belton. All right. Cheers, gents. But every now and again, there might be an issue that we think has happened, but we can't quite prove it. The important thing there is to get these young people in front of us and to tell them exactly what our expectations are. This is wrong and it won't be happening in this school.
Let me remind you, people that are talking are going to go out. Who's making noise now? Vincent. If you focus in school, school is easier, but if you don't focus and like mess about, school is hard. You've, you've got to have the right attitudes and the right mindset. <laughs> We're going to prank call my dad. Most of the time I do have the right mindset, but sometimes I don't because I mess about quite a lot. But you've got to speak, OK? Year 9 Vincent is a familiar face to the behaviour team at Harrapfold. No. Hello? Hello, did you order pizza? Vincent. This is Kebab King. Did you order pizza? Vincent. <laughs> oh, man. No, I... <laughs> in year seven, Mr. Povey put Vincent on a managed move to a neighbouring school to help improve his behaviour. Vincent is off the wall. He's a character. Was quite a challenging student in year seven and eight. He's gonna shit on me. <laughs> Absolutely, was an attention seeker. And some of the other students used to be quite irritated by Vincent. Excuse me. He would just wind them up. He didn't have that side to him where he knew what was acceptable and what wasn't. Why are you interrupting these girls? Girl. See, that's I know. Yeah, do you like it? Boo! Are you actually okay? No. Can I get your stomach clay balls? Your balls. For me at school, I was very challenging as a student. I was a silly little boy who had the wrong attitude at times. Oh, you know what I was only messing about? I'm sorry if I hurt you. All right, see you, bye-bye. People giving me another chance was the crucial part. That's exactly what we want to do with Vincent. Hello, Hello boys. Hiya. Hello. Vincent. Yeah? You always have something pretty interesting to say. Yeah. So, I've had an idea. What kind? What do you think about considering student council? Really? Yeah, we've got to get the right people. Students who I think have something to say, something to think you have something important I, I to say. Would, I would love to be part of student council. You would? Yeah. I think you'd be absolutely it? brilliant. Student council. It's basically where. You can have a voice in school, basically. Quite right. That's exactly what it is. Choose a playground into a skate park. A skate park. Well, we can look at all kinds of things yeah. within reason, but I think you'd be brilliant at it. So I'll okay. go away, Vincent, and I'll have a chat with a few people and see what we okay. can do. Yeah? Thank you, Selma. No, no problems. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Oh, my God! We always need to give somebody a focus. When I was given a focus, then I really started to see that discipline shift to other parts of my life. Vincent has a huge opportunity now to go out and do something and be a success. OK, ladies, gents. Hey, Vincent, do us a favour and put that in the bin. Where was the bin? Sorry, here's the bin for you. You're supposed to do it. Hope I'm not going to regret my decision, Vincent. I won't. I won't do anything. Yeah, well, you just have. Year 11s, you're going the wrong way, folks. Good morning, good morning, good morning. When I first came here, I heard things said that it was one of the most deprived areas in the country. So with that, you have challenges of aspiration, don't you? Come on, James, you've still got time. I suppose, like most working-class council estates, there's a number of challenges with unemployment and, you know, with that, you get the societal thing of drugs and the threat of that. In school, it is a safe environment. It has to be, as with any school. We look after them and advise them as best we can, you know, from what they may encounter elsewhere. Now then, come in, gentlemen. Following yesterday's investigation, into the suspicion of drugs on the school premises, Caden and two other Year 8 boys have been called to see Mr Chambers. You guys put yourself in a really difficult position yesterday where you could have been permanently excluded from school. You know, you were definitely up to something and, mate, your knowledge was absolutely staggering. If you were involved in something, and I'm not saying that, you were that far away from getting caught, believe me on this, that far away, so... It will be spot checked randomly, and if that smell appears again, then we've already been in touch with GMP and we'll get police dogs in next time within 15 minutes. In school, we have to give them as many chances as possible, like we care them, because once they leave here, 
you know, you, you, in adult life, your chances dry up. This is the only freebie you get in life in school. Make the most of it. Better get to your lesson on time. Povey's going to get you. It could be like an obstacle course. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, da. I'm getting you, Jody. Come on, Jody. It's making sure everybody's here. Fantastic. I feel this. I created this. It's got fireworks and everything. Mr. Povey started a student council, an elected group that attempts to make changes around the school to help their fellow students. We'll also get biscuits if you want biscuits. Spoil yourselves. We need all people on student council. Yes, we do need the academic high achievers. Of course, they're one part of our student body. But we need some characters on there. We need some people with personality. Student council can't be full of one of the same person. So what are our plans for the future? What are you going to do to make the school better this year? Come on, student council. Come on. You're part of student council for a reason. Oh, and now Sorry, I'm late. Mr Povey's joining us. We've just started, sir. We're just going to look at Student Council, yes. where we're up to now. Just talking about our recruitment drive and where we're up to. Right. Have you got an equal representation from each form? Have you got... No, not across the board at all. Right. We have got a problem with Year 9, is that what we're saying? We have. OK, well, if I say the name Vincent to you, what do people think in the room? Um. We're going to try and do a little bit of an exam question every time. Vincent, we should be looking at this. <laughs> and those off for me. Now, on the front... Yes, I will, sir. Thank Likely. you. He's a nice young man, boy. Yeah. Be honest. Can be... It can be disruptive and it doesn't always listen. Mm. I think it could be something that we could use as a lever with him because I think it could take him on the next stage of his journey. Can we get, can we get on with the questions? He is vocal. Mm but it's about channeling that energy. Sharon, you know, you've, what you've recognised yeah. there is an issue. Vincent? We need to sell Vincent to the students, but generally what we like to do is to give everybody a chance. Look at this now. Find the perimeter of the triangle for me. Excuse yes, me. 48, sir. Boom. Vincent, yeah. whatever the hell you're doing, stop and get this done. How are you doing? It is quite challenging. I've got a short attention span. Like a frog. <laughs> Josh, Josh, should I eat the fibre again? Is he just fibre? I'm not. Yeah, it's internal savings. I'm five pounds richer. <laughs> it's the end of lunchtime at Harrowfold, and Year Eight Caden is heading to lessons. Most of the time, it's hard to not mess about. Who would you like to annoy the most? My sister. The easiest person to ever get annoyed. My brother, and he started misbehaving, and he gained this attitude that come from nowhere. Why are you throwing stuff? He can do what he wants, that's what he says. I can do what I want. That is his attitude to everything. What did I ever do to serve a brother like you? I just don't want him to get kicked out, but he, he doesn't learn by his mistakes. He'll constantly do it again. Knowing full well that he'll get caught. Caden, back on the floor, please. Right, books open, everyone. If you have a student, they've missed lessons over the years, they go to a class and they don't know something, and they feel vulnerable. Caden, your bag is still on your back. Get it on the floor now. So the only mechanism they know is to hide the fact that they don't know things, be a bit out of order, and they get removed. Caden, bag on the floor. I've already asked you. On the floor. No, on the floor. Otherwise, I'm going to have to remove you. Simple as that. On the floor. Right. Date and title on everyone, please. What kind of programme? One more, and I'll ask you to leave the lesson. Uh, you're interrupting me, and you're shouting out of turn. That behaviour's not... Right, outside. I'm giving you warnings. Wow. Here you go. Miss, would you mind radioing to get someone to pick Caden up, please? Huh? Mr. Chambers. Got Caden. If I hear something on the radio about Caden, I think, well, what's he doing? Or where's he going? I shouldn't be getting involved with Caden, because last year I lost that in like all, oh, most of my lessons, because I was constantly worrying about what Caden was doing and what he was getting up to and what trouble he was getting himself into. 
Come with me. I'll go and speak to Mr. Hastings. But when you're on the class. Is you go with your damn told. Oh, no. Hey, dude. I'll go and see Mr. Hastings. I'll smack you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I never had a brother, though. I just sometimes. As part of the behavioural team, it's Ben Povey's responsibility to offer support to challenging students in the school. Right. You're right. Just let me go grab some tissues. I'll be one second, kid. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, no, I'm where I'm going to feel like I'm getting picked on my teachers. I mean, it's my first lesson. I get told off for nothing. I know it feels like that, Caden. I know. I'm going to say, I'm going to go I'm going to go and call you or Chambers. May or Mr. Chambers. Please don't call him Chambers. He's not Prince. He's not like a one-word person. He's called Mr. Chambers, yeah? There's definitely two sides to Caden. There's the front, there's the I'm not bothered, there's a character, and then there's a little boy underneath. You've got to realise, the minute you stop blaming everyone else and go, right, well, what can I do differently? Mate, life gets loads easier, trust me. All right? Right, go to the next lesson. <sighs> yeah, mate. Can you reach it? Go on. Nothing but net, Caden. I like it. Topic is how Hitler got support. What's the second topic in Hitler's journey that we look at? How he became a <gasps> what? Chancellor. Chancellor of oh, the D. Do cut dictator. <laughs> year 11 Kim is in history with Miss Shanks. In school, cos I year exams and all that, sometimes the teachers think it's not time for laugh and jokes, now it's time to get your head down. So that's why I think I can't have fun all the time. <laughs> If Mr Taylor came in and said, you must have your work done like this... I told him to shut up. ..you must teach like this... Well, get out. I'm hoping for all good grades and a good job. When I leave, I want to work in a nursery. Cos I love kids and they make me laugh. <laughs> good afternoon, Hurtful School. Michelle speaking. Uh, is this student development? It is, yeah. Um, so I'm phoning about Kimberly, really. I'm going through a situation with Kimberly's yeah. brother. I need to let you know that he's in court on the 15th of February. Is that for sentencing, Jenna? Yeah, more than likely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. What's he looking at? Um, well, his solicitor said five plus, but I'm not 100% sure. Right. Face this way and listen. So obviously exactly. she gets upset. I'm not going to say bear with her, just... No, of course. And the day's a brother, innit? She's going to be yeah, upset. Yeah. Right, keep so us up to date and um, we'll keep it. an eye on Kim. All right, All then. Right, no All right, then. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thanks, bye. bye. My brother, he might be getting sent down. Some teachers, like, they'll just look at me and then start saying something. And I just think you don't know what's going on in my life, so you can't say anything yet. Kim's brother will appear in court in two weeks' time for a drugs-related offence. It's a poor area where we live in Salford. There is a lot of drugs going on around. You hear it all the time. Not a nice sight to see, but what can you do? We're all a bit up and down with moods, I think. I've not really asked Kim Blair how she feels. Ashamed. <laughs> we don't want you going down the same path as your brother because I've got it in my head he's not coming home no matter what. It's horrible, you know, for us as a family. It's embarrassing and I can't always be there for him only at home when I'm home, but when they're outside and they're in school and things like that, they've got to deal with it their own way. You need to work hard. I want you to achieve something and do what you want to do. Please, just do the best you can in school. And, uh, I will. Yeah, good girl. He's like my best friend, really. And I can't get over the fact he's not going to be there no more. Right, I bet you when I go in this corner, we're not using the two doors. Yeah, we just opened the second door. Why would we do that? It's Friday morning. In an attempt to change his continual bad behaviour, Mr Chambers has called in Caden's mum. There is a lot of pressure if Caden's being a bit naughty because she works hard. She really tries, 
We've had some terrible conversations and she's probably hated my guts at times. I've just seen the lady outside, she went, oh my God, I can see the resemblance between you and Sean. And you're like, twins. Oh, twins. <laughs> Bye. See ya. I need to tell you something. Don't be coming in here now and thinking, oh no, this is... Well, I am very sceptical, obviously. Don't be very sceptical. <laughs> I am. <laughs> no, don't be. Sometimes I real feel for her, and that's why we've got to try and support her. Are we doing something wrong? Us, or you, or both? Well, look, obviously, uh, we must be doing something. There's a breakdown somewhere. There's like a mishap in between somewhere, There's a break there? somewhere. So that then leads us to exploring other avenues. Right then, come in here, have a sit down. Hi, mate. Let's have a little talk here. On the 20th, you're running around at lunchtime, ignoring people. Then you had an issue with PE and you got placed outside of Miss York's room there. Then you're hiding behind a fridge. Then within two minutes of that, you've walked out up onto the top yard and you've had a fight. There's four incidents in one day. If you just give us an insight, though, you know, just give us a reason why, maybe we can help. I don't know. What my mum always said. I've started being naughty since I could ever walk and talk. You like getting in trouble? No, I just don't think at the time. You know, if there's a picture there that you don't like, then you take the picture out and you put another picture in. So what you've got to do is reframe it. We all want you to succeed here, we all do. Do you think I want you pass from pillar to post? Do you think Sir wants you pass from pillar to post? Mm. We want you settled. Nice and early, we like that. Do you want to sit over there with Josh and he'll give you an interview? Now, don't worry about it, Vincent. You're going to be fab. Mr Povey has made sure that all student council decisions are made by the students themselves, even selecting new members. I'm nervous. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. The student council representatives will interview a person who's applying. They write the questions and then they sit down and interview, which is lovely to see because it looks really professional. Would you be able to stand up in front of farms and assemblies to deliver messages? Yeah, I've got the confidence. Taking the interview is student council chairman Josh and his deputy, Leon. What is your behaviour like in lessons and in high school? Shaker. Like, I can have good days, but I can have bad days. It is definitely going to be a struggle for me to be the good Vincent, because I would like to be the bad Vincent as well. You have already been warned, though, aren't you, with your yeah. behaviour? <coughs> okay. Would you like a drink, by the way? Yeah, please. The perfect candidate is someone who is respectful. Extremely confident because if you're not confident, no one's going to take you seriously. And then you also need a bit of creativity too. What changes would you like to see around school? The big one was, you know, how places are really dark. In wintertime, when it goes dark about like four o'clock ish, we can like give them the reflective stripes around your hands. Do you know what I mean? A bit like a high vis. Yeah, sort yeah, of, yeah. but not like a fun high vis, just like the straps. Not like ridiculous ideas, but like sensible ideas. <laughs> That's your interview done. If you'd like, you can finish your drink. I'll take it with you. Cheers. See ya. Hey guys, thorough job there. What do we think? You're the students that be working with Vincent, so are we giving him a chance? What if we gave him a trial, just to see how he works in the student council, and if you enjoy his company, and if you think that you can work well with him? Yeah. Okay. Fabulous meeting today. Okay, guys, have we all got a badge? I think you're going to get it, but yeah. I don't know, because I'm not the one in charge, but exactly. it was up to me, I'd let you have it. You're a great future leader, Vincent. Mm. You making a note of this, Caden? Sit properly, please, on your Miss chair. Miss, cold. Sit properly on your chair. Cold? Or you can warm it up. Right. Uh, Caden, why are, you, why are you doing that? Hang on. We'll just wait till Caden's facing the front. Caden, that's enough. Right. Lessons over! Lessons over! Lessons over! Despite repeated warnings, Caden is still misbehaving in class. And when he skips the detention, the behavioural team decide they must take further action. 
You didn't stay for your detention. You did what? I don't get why I've got detention, though. This is being pushed as far as you can go at the moment. Do you know you've been out of order with us? Do you know that what you're doing is wrong? Because if you don't, then we're wrong. So, get in the booth and wait for whatever me and Mr Chambers tell you to do next. If we have to lose someone, if someone doesn't work here, then we've got to try and find the best scenario that, that works for them. The team have decided to temporarily move Caden to a neighbouring school. Good morning, it's Mr Chambers from Harfold. Um, Caden says you didn't work, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I need to speak to you. Um, it's starting to escalate now. It's getting to the stage now where he's running away from senior teachers. So what do we do now? He's going to go on a respite. I've got to get him out of the place, and he's got to know that he's done wrong. So he's going to go to Beulah for two weeks. I'm going to try. And... I'm so gutted. Please don't get upset on this one. Oh, please, I'm, I'm going so to. I'm so gutted. I'm going to try and work with you. We've just got to get Thank the right you. balance here. Yeah. Thank you. I can't make any promises yet, but I'm going to try, and we're going to. But please don't get upset. We'll, we'll get through this. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye now. All right. Bye bye. I hate seeing people like that, you know, who, who might impact on someone's life. He's a good lad, Caden. He does care. And he does it when he knows he's done wrong. And that's why I think we'll win with him. Come here. If your sister comes past, just say it's something that me, you are dealing with. She's got exams and she doesn't need to be worrying about you, does she? Caden will return to Harrop Fold after a two-week break. What we try and do at Harrop is give young people as many chances as possible. You won't see students being excluded. Why? Because we have a belief that it doesn't work. Because just sitting at home all day would not change or start to adjust the attitude, because it's the attitude we've got to get to change the behaviours. Today, the school are holding an achievement assembly. Four year nine boys have been pulled out due to misbehaviour. How are we going to solve this then? Because I'm not happy. I think you should apologise to Miss who runs the choir. Yes, yes, sir. For making rude hand gestures, <coughs> even if it is at the floor. Who on earth makes a rude hand gesture at the floor? It's embarrassing. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Student council, representing the school, and doing things like this. Mm. That's why you're on a three-week trial, Vincent. Yes, sir. But if you keep going like this, mm. you've no chance. Exactly. Yes, sir. I have all the time in the world for all you four, but I'm really, really, really disappointed, lads. Yes, sir. Go. It's lunchtime, and desperate to make amends during his trial period. Can we blow your finger? Microphone. Um, why? Microphone. This in the wrong hands, it's a very dangerous piece of equipment. Vincent is going on the offensive. Some people do look at it as quite geeky, student council, but I want to show it to people you don't have to be a geek to join student council, but you've got to have the right attitude. Let's go. <coughs> See my megaphone. Oh, Jack, come on. Mr Chambers, to all members of staff of the radio, Vincent is allowed to use a megaphone, He's using it to canvas for his council business. Thank you. Oh, this is going to go downhill. No, it won't, Josh. I've got... Yes, it is. He's got a megaphone. Got With the number of year nines in student council low, Vincent's trying to drum up interest. Everybody! We've got four student council! Does anybody else have forms? Any year nines? I've got a form! Any year nines? Put your name down for student council! Vincent! Come here, let's get you in. Oh, why have you done that? Oh, broke it. Are you all right? Let's get you sorted. Right, I've heard there's an incident happened on the yard. Tell me about it. I jumped on my basically for the microphone. OK. And how are you now? Fine. You sure? You don't look fine. I'm not fine, but 
just feel like... Well, don't say you're fine then if you're not fine. That's like me saying, what's your name? And you're saying it's Brian, sir, not Vincent. You're not fine. I feel like it was a bad idea. I'm quite disappointed in myself. You see, in life, Vincent, we're going to have to try things from time to time. Mm -hmm. And not everything you try is going to go, that was brilliant, that's worked. Yeah. A lot of things we try will go wrong. And today you've tried something and it might not have worked out. But I would like to try it again. But sure. why? I'd like to try it again, but this time like with a teacher. I'll do it with you then next week. Do you want to do it with me next week? Yeah. I, I'm quite happy to get alongside you and we'll have that megaphone and we'll announce it to year nines between the two of us. Mm -hmm and we'll make it work. Yeah. Okay, sure you're okay to go to your lesson? Yeah. Right, give those year 11s to me. Yeah. Cocker, little rat! Hi. Right, we're gonna start by looking at culture. Turn to page 201 in the book. It's been a week since Kim learnt of her older brother's date in court, and the school is seeing a shift in her attitude. And have you got a report about your shoes? No. So have you got your shoes then? So why are you not putting them Jacket on? Jacket off. Jacket off. Why are you not putting your shoes on then if they're in the bag? Don't worry, I'm going to start it. It's not even fair that with me, I would have been sent to walk, dude. If it was you in my lesson, which way away well, I do, I mean the whole school. Not, right, but that's not me. Together. No, but that's not me, so please don't take it out on me. I'm not. Oh, I'm not even staying here, can't be out. Come back. Come back. Come back. No, nope, OK, so ignore me then. OK. Miss Shanks, to our radio users, Kim this stormed out of her humanities lesson without permission. Can she please be returned as soon as possible? Oh, who'd work with kids? I do, Kim. What's <laughs> up, mate? Kim is definitely behaving in a very different way. Um, we're seeing... We're seeing a lot more outbursts from her. I'm sick of it. You know, someone in her life, her brother, has got some big challenges going on right now, and she's struggling to manage that. Kim, calm down. We're OK, chat shit. You've got a very, very complex young lady there who, in the core of it all, is lovely, wants to do well, wants people to be proud of her. But then, on the flip side of it... For God's sake! ..wants to push people away. <laughs> Kim wants you to have a go at her. She wants to buy into this thing that she feels no good and she feels like her and her family are no good. got maths, then Spanish, learning skills. After two weeks away on respite, it's Caden's first day back at Harrapfold. Well, the first thing is you've got your shoes on, innit? Mm-hmm. Well, somebody's not away proper. Love you off, see you later. Good morning, Caden. How was your trip away? You not enjoy it? Now you're back and we're going to have a new Caden? Look at me, definitely. I hope so. Harry Fold, they're not a normal school. I don't mean it in a bad way. Come in. Any, any other school, they just get kicked out straight away. So, Caden, we're going to try and help you, but we want some of back here. Please, give us some of back. There's lots in place to try and make it work for you. Well, I'll say to you, what are you going to do? So, first thing, get your report card. That needs to be signed by everyone, it needs to be shown, and Mum needs to see it at night, and I need to see it. Right, run down to Miss Cairns, she'll print your report off. Happy? Cos if you're not, that's as good as it gets. Go to Les Not. How are you going to make a change, Caden? Stop being a class clown and, and ignoring teachers. And that's the dream work for once. All they're really trying to do is get me a good education. Come on. We don't get in a quiet room up here. Tomorrow is a big day for Year 11 Kim. Her brother is in court for an update on his sentence. So, it's bad today. Your head's not in, the, not in the game today. What we need to do is hold you together for the rest of today. And what we'll do is, we'll keep it nice and chilled, all right? Since this has happened, 
my mum's been like a bit stressed out and everything. So then I'm stressed out because of my mum as well, because I don't like seeing my mum like upset. I'll just be sat there and I'll just think of it and thinking, like, what am I going to do? And then I'll just start crying. Stop being embarrassed about being upset. It, it doesn't I'm matter. I'm not. You are. Like I say, anything happens in any of these lessons, then you can always yeah. go and sit in the unit. OK. Whether you're a young person in a school or you're an adult, if you've got a situation going on and you've got something that's happening in your life and you don't know how that's going to end, having that uncertainty is a hell of a lot worse than when it actually happens. Is that that phone over there? Good afternoon, Hurtful School. Michelle speaking. I'm just ringing you to let you know, you know about Matthew and his court case? I do, yeah. Right. Well, he's been to court today and apparently looking at a minimum of eight years. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kim's here. Do you want to speak to Kim? Is she dad, love? Hello? Hi, Kimberly, you all right? Yeah, why? Uh, Matthew's looking at a minimum of eight years in prison. OK. And because now you know what's going on, yeah? Yeah. All right, sweetheart. OK. We're trying to say to Kimberly, you know, He's done this, he's going to go to prison and you've just got to accept it. Don't use it as an excuse in school. Please go and do the best you can because this is the most important time for you now, your exams. Well, my older brother has gone to prison, but he's waiting for his sentencing date in September. So we're all like, I can't worry no more. And then he can't worry no more. My biggest hope is it will give her, oddly, a feeling of of, of closure almost. We've all had situations in our life where we've handled things poorly. So it's about understanding that and working alongside them. Sir, I'm not walking with you. Go on, carry on walking, you weird. You, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. Student Council hopeful Vincent is drumming up support in the playground. What we need to be doing today is be sensible. I'm always sensible, sir. Vincent, let's be honest. This time with the help of Mr. Povey. Big round of applause, please. Over to you. Um, we would well like to encourage you to join Student Council because you can have a voice in our school. Well done, though, I like that. Everybody can make the difference if they put their mind to work. You can do whatever you want, but you have to have the right mindset. Yes, Vincent, I'm loving this. Come, Come on, you home. lot, Student Council. Come on. You can change Go and get a phone, lads. Yeah. Look at all these people here. Kind of a lot better than last time, isn't it, Ben? <laughs> so, could we all put the title, Descriptive Writing Opportunity? So I want you to imagine that you are a homeless person spending your first night sleeping on the streets of Manchester. Make a story of, like, me. Yeah, yeah, it could be you personally, but you can change any detail, because it is a creative piece. It's period one, and Caden is in English. Yeah. I thought, Since being placed on report, his behaviour has improved. Good morning, oh. sir. Good morning, Hello. miss. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Sit down. How are they doing today, sir? Excellent. Really well. Caden's back in it again. You just came in at a good moment, actually. He was just reading me what he's written so far. That's fantastic, again. He's working well. Really good. Yeah. Well done, well done, sir. Cheers, sir. So you're reading me a bit of your story, weren't you? I bought myself a sleeping bag and a tent and some food and water. We are seeing some improvements with him. We just need to keep working with him and seeing if we can get him through this difficult time. Excellent. Right, I really like the narrative you've got there. You created a really convincing backstory for your character. You've been pretty good today, actually, Caden. Just give me a look. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, are you all right? Can you talk? Yeah. So, uh, I don't think I've been as proud of a young fella for a long time, and I said it's nice to, to be looked after, and he said he's not as mad anymore now, and I think we may be a little bit somewhere here, because he's, he's trying, and he's not going to get everything right, but you know what? He deserves a big trade-off, yeah? Yeah, he does. He's sitting laughing. Don't he's you sitting worry, laugh I will do. He's sitting laughing here. Yeah, he wants a new bike. A Mom, new bike? Mum's having an heart attack here. No, I'm, off. I'm winding, I'm winding, I'm winding. <laughs> <laughs> so, well done. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Bye. She's happy, Mum. To get some positive results from Caden and to get some wins is 
that's what we're here for, isn't it? You know, that's we want to change young people's lives. That's that's why we come into this. It's to give them the opportunity they never thought they had. Can you keep this up? Because yeah. I'm proud of you, you know. You make the right choices now. And people are starting to like it. He's in there. Alright. No issue, that's off. Is that off? Yeah, hold it and read it. Vincent's three-week trial for student council is over. Cheers, thank you. Well done, you deserve that. And he's got the job. That is brilliant. I'm so chuffed about that. I'm putting his student council bad job oh, list. Well Look at that. Right then, nice people. Dish them out for me. Vincent, nice badge. Oh, cheers. Mm -hmm. That badge means great power. No, with great power... Comes great responsibility. Absolutely. So, <laughs> the Vincent of old is now gone. There's a new Vincent. We shall call you Councillor Vincent and bow before yeah. you. I've got a bunch of foot. I'm not big on big presents, but he was always wanted me stress reliever. So I thought I'm gonna get him one that looks like him. That's yours. You deserve that, you pleased with it. Right, you ready? Distinction in ECDL, that's pack level one pack. Yeah. Get it. Health and safety, of course, that's what I'm on about here. Such as like reflection stripes that we give to the children, so people will see them with their car headlights. Next time. This is about the best person for the job. The fight is on to find the first ever head boy and head girl at Harrockfold. He's the chair, I'm the vice chair. Sick and tired of working under him. I want someone. That's right, Laura. Who you voted for? Big round of applause, please, for 